Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I'm just giving my Monet deck a shuffle. I love this deck so much. I find it restful and dreamy and the quiet washes of color are absolutely amazing. Oh, we love that. Let's see. And I love how it ha also has little messages in it too. You know, for any new readers, if you're trying to develop a, a a nice understanding of tarot with like little kind of like tutorials or things that can pinpoint you in the right direction this is a really helpful deck let me just show you the box to it right here it is doo -doo -doo, claude monet impressionism art tarot i love this deck so let's look at this gorgeous ten of pentacles Tra tradition comfort and inheritance i feel i want to read this one thing that i started my day with it just came up on my uh, I came up on my feed and I thought, oh my gosh, this is everything. This is exactly how I feel about this. It says, now take a deep breath and notice what the energy of alignment, groundedness, and channeling to the highest version of yourself feels like. So that you'll notice when this energy steps aside or is absent, you will be aware of it. Okay, so that's our highest intentional self, highest vibration, highest frequency, when we are, you know, calm and cautious and grounded and feeling safe and breathing deeply, having a sense of abundance, optimism, passion, and freedom. We feel success and achievements around the corner and we're looking for that. It's one of those things where we step into that, that state of mind and our perception that life is filled with riches and depth and wonderful things around the corner this is when we feel balanced and harmonious this is when we feel organic and fresh and earthy and all of the things we're meant to purposeful happy and that things you know revenue streams are around the corner everything feels good and solid and sometimes we step out of that because we can a be triggered by somebody oh i tell you what if you're ever around like a negative nancy for an extended period of time they can start to grate on you and the weird thing is emotions can be contagious so we can start to think that way you know less abundant or fearful people that are not super like agitated or high anxiety s state if i'm like on a public transport or something with them, I can feel that energy. So I just move away from it and I recognize who carries that with them and I limit my time with them as well because we're meant to be around people that give off good vibrations and make us feel abundant and optimism and all of this. I feel this is a beautiful assertive energy where you feel just free you feel calm to do whatever you want and with this gorgeous gemini new moon it's the start of new cycles we get new energy to start something new and gemini is a sign of the mind this is information and thoughts and communication and this new cycle really enhances these areas i really find an uptick in my vocabulary and the fluidity in which i speak around this kind of time new moons it's almost like it gets rid of emotional and verbal clutter and just presents this sterling kind of map and blueprint of which to speak in the direction to go because i always feel like that too i don't need to bring in any residual energy i don't need to look backwards because this is forward thinking beautiful energy i can have this i can do this i can think this i can say this i can feel this you embody the best you know you feel magic always surrounds me i'm in the right place at the right time i have plenty of time and energy to do the things i need to do money is an unlimited resource and always flows my way i attract love and freedom and health into my life i like to speak it up i talk it in every day i feel vitality i feel excitement i feel good i feel nourished i feel curious all of these things when i start to do that uh, and say that i feel like i sit up straighter i look around for reasons to be excited about my life i see all my great tools and resources around me i feel oh, i've got this fantastic yard i can sit and think and daydream and meditate in all of this you're going to start to really see how much beauty everything around you embodies including yourself you know knowing that you're not just some machine where you have to produce everything i read this thing today and it also blew my mind because i thought oh my gosh that's so true i'm going to see if i have it so but uh, while I'm looking for, I'm just going to talk about like, we can mastermind this alchemist self, you know, we can be free to feel fully equipped in our life with everything by just pausing and looking and going, well, you know, does this really, do I have to participate in this? Th this was it. It was, it's important to find a healthy balance between too much responsibility that makes us feel cynical 
and but taking on enough so we feel effective and connected to our purpose that's this beautiful balance where we have freedom to operate in our own sphere and say hey i can do this but i'm not obligated to answer this email right now just because somebody wants something from me it's like i'm good i'm good until i'm prepared right when i'm at the ready i can go for this walk i can enjoy this beautiful meal i don't need to multitask or harangue myself for any ridiculous reason it's all about oxygen and feeling like you have all this time and space in which to operate you know that it were it, this whole read reminds me of sitting like by a bonfire you know how just fire completely like brings us into that orbit we're enraptured by our focus there our heartbeat slows down we're just like it it just sucks in our gaze and makes us feel completely like in the moment that's this kind of energy and great and wonderful solutions present themselves during this time where we feel oh I got it I feel empowered but I feel I can take a leisurely pace you know it's like an alternative energy that comes in that helps us feel like life's entertaining it's fun and it restores energy it promotes growth and it helps us re rejuvenate ourselves because we are now nurturing ourselves and that is what is coming in and that's what you guys are meant to hear today I love this energy I just feel like you know we, we all struggle with do am I being purposeful but am I really um, paying attention to the non-negotiables in my life too like I am not gonna let anybody infringe on my quiet time I'm not gonna let anybody think that because I've done something in the past for them that it's an open menu and here's the candy platter and always feel free to take time attention and all of that like really just feeling fresh and new and this moon is gonna be so helpful in that like ah, I feel restored and I don't feel the need to push you know I just kind of want to glide and I want to flow and observe and kind of like pluck those little morsels out when they show up for me you know beautiful flow state a hundred percent so that's you guys and what you're meant to hear today so love and light